But first, we breathe. Ready? Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Open the channels of creativity, of openness, of nowness. That's enough whispering. Today, our writing workshop would be cater to our voice. I'm not gonna make you sing or uh, do anything crazy or is it crazy? Today, our writing activity will be us yelling, yelling, yelling. Um, I think a lot of us are walking around uh, you know, being res being respectful of space or being respectful of where we are. So most times we don't yell. And so today's activity, we are going to transcribe our yelling. I don't know. Yeah, we're just going to go with that. As we've all been confined in the house because we've all been told to stay in the house. Maybe we're more considerate of space and maybe we have to share space. Maybe we don't. Um, maybe we live in a house with several people. Maybe we live by ourselves. But I wonder um, what happens if we do this together. So on the count of three, I want you to yell to the loudest that you can. One, two, three. I saw it. I saw it in your eyes. I saw it. I said on the count of three, I want you to yell to the loudest that you can. Are you ready? One, two, three, go. <laughs> Oh, you was playing around with the play around. I see it. Okay, so here it is. Maybe you're not used to yelling, okay? Or yelling on cue. Well, here we go. I want you to think of everything that you bottled up inside in the past couple of weeks. I want you to think of everything that you want to say but choose not to say or aren't allowed to say or are often ignored when you do say it. And I want you to yell to the loudest that you can. Are you ready? One, two, three, go. Beautiful. And if you didn't do it, rewind and do it again. Cause that's how this activity works. As we yell, I want us to do it three more times, right? But this time when we do it, we are going to do it and just do it as long as we can. And when we do it as long as we can, the first thing I want you to do is have a notebook piece of paper or your notebook or journal nearby. And I want you to write down all of the things that come to mind, okay? Whether it be a, a son or mad face, or doodle or maybe words come out. I want you to write everything down, okay? No judgment with no criticism. So what I want you to do, step outside if you need to, step into your room if you need to, put a pillow over your mouth if you need to, um, if you're being considerate of, of time or um, of, of people who are around you. But I want you to yell to the loudest of your ability. Are you ready? One. Two, three, yeah. Now write, write everything down, cool?
beautiful. So once you have written all of these things down, maybe it's not um, a poem or any story or anything like that. Maybe it's just like this random thoughts that have come across your mind. Just map it out a little bit. So if it's a doodle, map it out. Maybe um, add a little extraness to it. Add a background to it. If it's if it's words, maybe try to map out the words or try to connect the words wherever that may look like. If it's a story or random things that came out, just just play with it. Sit with it for a minute, and then we'll come back. Great. Thank you for doing that with me. So when you write this out, now your challenge is to transcribe your screen. I know it sounds crazy. But at this very moment, what I'm asking you to do is write out what your scream was trying to say. Is it full of anger, happiness, full of love, full of frustration? Transcribe it using the words that you kind of randomly came up with, but also thinking about what that felt like. How did that feel? Write that down. How did that feel? Take a second to really breathe with yourself. If you yelled really loudly, maybe your heart is beating really fast, but take a minute to sit with yourself. Once you do that, I want you to just... So once you have your piece, um, you have a new piece that's transcribing screams, I want you to title it and share it with yourself. Beginning with a scream, I challenge you, perform it for yourself, for your family, for your friends, for no one. I'll see you next week. Peace.